a drink real quick. Apparently I spilled it, so that's cool. Let's do one thing at a time here. Let's pour this in here and then we'll clean up the mess so I don't spill this even more. Hi guys, long time, no see, baby. Concentration on pouring in these greens, my daily greens that I like to take. Makes me feel like I'm healthy, <laughs> even though I'm not. All right, let me grab a towel and clean this up too, cause hi, yellow, <laughs> yellow. Hey guys, I don't even know the last time I went live. Definitely was last year sometime. So I haven't seen y'all on here since last year. Well, hello, welcome, I'm glad you got to catch a live. Okay, got my greens mixed. We're gonna do makeup, I have to film today. So I need to do some makeup and I have been seeing y'all asking me to do some makeup videos. So here I am for you. We're gonna do some makeup. I could not decide this morning what makeup I wanted to do, but when I was in Savannah a few weeks ago, I did a green makeup look for St. Patrick's Day and I really liked it. So I kind of want to do it again because I haven't done it like, I haven't filmed with the makeup look, so you guys haven't really seen it other than pictures on Instagram. Oh, thank you, Liz. Appreciate you. So I was thinking maybe we could do green because I have a green lipstick that I think would look so good with it. And I feel like I've been doing a lot of pinks lately. So maybe like green, I think might be good. So I used green, yellow, and black and the gold in here. So I'm thinking that's what I wanna do. How do you guys feel about that? If we do green, but it's not like gonna be a bright green. It's gonna be like, um, this is earth and ocean greens. This is what it is. I've been, I've had it every day for like months. <laughs> Like literally, I've drank it every single day. I like barely miss. I've probably missed like four times in the past, like two and a half months, three months. So green, I'm thinking green, but like a dark green, like emeraldy green and then like a green lipstick. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, let me grab all my makeup brushes and we'll get started. I already did my eyebrows because they take forever if I do it while I'm on live. Hi. Will your video today be dyeing your hair green too? No, I'm not dyeing my hair green today. I have to bleach my roots today and then I have a new hair care system that I'm gonna try. And then either tomorrow, what's today, Wednesday? Either tomorrow or Friday, I'm dyeing my hair neon rainbow, like crazy. Anyone hear her with interference or just me? I'm not sure. Um, let Victor know, you guys. Is anybody else's audio weird or is it just them? Hi, Austria. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. And we're gonna get started. Audio is fine. Okay, might just be you, she sounds fine to me. Okay, maybe go out and then come back in. I haven't done this in a while, so bear with me, you guys, because I haven't done this <laughs> in a while. I haven't gone live and done my makeup, so it's gonna be hard for me to try and, you know what I mean? <laughs> Focus on what I'm doing here. Let me keep this out. Let me see, let me see, let me see. What should I use? Should I use this? Mm. Mm. Finally got your makeup palette. Oh, thank you, Crystal. Thank you, I appreciate that. They're getting low in stock. So I feel like they're gonna sell out at some point soon, which is exciting. It's sad, but it's exciting. I just bought three of them. <laughs> Literally over the weekend, I bought three of them for myself because I'm getting low in some of these colors. I'm like starting to create like dents in them and I feel like I'm gonna hit pan soon on some of them and that freaks me out thinking about never being able to get it again. So I bought three I'm like, okay, hopefully this will last me <laughs> my lifetime, you know what I mean? But it's more exciting than it is sad because once we get that palette sold out, I have a few other ideas. You guys are gonna be so excited. I have a few other exciting things in the works right now. So I'm, I really am looking forward to those. The cool toned highlighter in your palette is life changing. Isn't it so pretty? It's so pretty. I love putting that on black, on top of black lipstick. It looks so good. It's like, it kind of reminds me of euphoria, like a euphoria color. It's like, I'll swatch it so you guys can see it. It's like, look at that. It's so pretty. 
Let me put it on my hand. It's so pretty. It's white, but it has like, oh my God, it's like a purpley undertone. And these, these are like so wet. Like the shimmers are so wet and pretty. I need to gear up this. Let me wet this. Oh, thank you, Bethany. That's so sweet. Well, I'm glad you're still here and you still like me. <laughs> That's a good thing. I'm wetting my beauty blender with a spray bottle because I didn't do it. I hope one is a black lippy. It's not, it's not a black lippy. Um, I have talked to Jess about that. She used to have one that was my favorite. She used to have a black lipstick that was called, it was, it was either called Weirdo or Creep, one of the two. And I loved it, but she discontinued it and brought in a shade called JC's Vibe. And it's like a gun metal metallic color. But I have been asking her to bring back a black lipstick. Yes, such you for your vibes in the purple shimmer too. Yes. Like you more and more as the time goes on. Oh, that's so sweet. You guys are so nice. I'm really excited to dye my hair. I did talk to Jess about bringing back neon pigments because after they sold out, she never brought them back. So she talked to her manufacturer today and... um She's working on bringing back neon pigments, which is awesome. Because I've been not doing many neon pigments. Um, I just uh, primed my eyes with some white primer. This is from Beauty Shakers. I think it's just beautyshakers.com. It's some white primer. They have a good white primer. And then Makeup A Murder has really, really good. I don't use it very often because it's so good. I normally just use it when I use my neon pigments. But she came out with like a bunch of primers and there's like nude tones in there i've been using those a lot lately and i really really like the white one when does logan find out about his bar results i'm invested now so he was hoping to find out friday didn't find out friday so he was like maybe monday or tuesday didn't find out monday or tuesday so he's hoping this week sometime there is no like set day that that people find out about the bar exam um, they give you like a time frame. So normally it's like five week time frame, but it's not like you're going to know at this date and at this time. It's just like whenever you get the email within like around those five weeks and every state is different depending on where you're taking the bar and what state. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Sometimes they release them earlier in different states. So yeah, I mean, we're hoping any day now we're hoping any day. I mean, he's, you know, he's going through it. You can imagine how insanely stressful that is him just waiting for his results. So Hopefully any day now he'll get the email and the notification to find out if he passed or not because he's he's anxious. Okay, I just washed all my makeup brushes too, so <laughs> perfect timing, perfect timing. Okay, let's go in with, let's go in with this one first. Yeah, we'll go with this one. All right, I'm going to go with the green in, in my palette up here, this green right here. It's like hailing outside right now. I'm gonna just start by packing it in here. Packing in the green. I only use three, three, one, two, three, three eyeshadow colors whenever I did this. Cause I saw a couple people ask on my Instagram if I had a makeup tutorial for the this specific look. How long do I think I'll be live for? Probably around an hour. I'm gonna try not to take too long just because I do have to film today. So as soon as I get done with this, I have to hop off and then film. So I don't wanna be working until like nine o'clock tonight. So I'm gonna try and do some quick makeup. So I'd say probably around an hour, an hour from now, I'll be done. And I will leave it up. So that way uh, if people are working or you gotta leave or you have to miss a part. I'll leave it up so you guys can rewatch it later. Hi. Aw, thank you, Angel. You're so sweet. Would you ever do the five elements on your hair? Yeah, that would be cool. I don't know. I kind of like tend to stick to like, I don't know, things that I like, like rainbow, blonde, black. Like those are the things I feel like I tend to repeat a lot because it's just like what I like. Normally, if I do something like out of my comfort zone, I want to change my hair immediately, which results in damage. So <laughs> I've learned maybe just like sticking to things that I like. <laughs> that always helps. I'm just going to blend this out. Hi, Levi. Hi, Denny. So I'm gonna go with the green and then we'll darken it up and make it like more smoky. I've been wanting to go live. It's just, I've been having a really rough time. So I haven't like, I'm like going live is the last thing on my mind, but I've been doing pretty good lately. So past like week, week and a half, 
I've been having like better mood and better spirits and everything and things have toned down a little bit where I live so it's allowed me to breathe a little bit and be a little bit more positive so what color are you doing on your hair next by the way hope you're I don't know what OML means sorry <laughs> um I'm doing neon like UV neon rainbow tomorrow probably I'll probably do it tomorrow instead of Friday so I can get like the rest of my filming done because I'm leaving on Saturday I'm leaving to go on a trip so I need to get I had to do like a bunch of batch filming so that way I could go on the trip and I wouldn't miss any uploads or anything okay look how pretty the screen is yes I do listen to suicide boys I listen to them like every single day <laughs> finally got my Aislinn palette and let me just say the obsession is real I need to order another one so I have a backup one I blow through this one absolute perfection was achieved oh thank you you're so sweet what does the green drink do for you? Um, I can look it up. I'll look it up for you real quick and tell you what's in it. Uh, let me see. Oop. Not Google suggesting new stuff to me. Um, Hi, you greens. It has, basically it's like, if you don't get enough greens in your diet, which most people don't, then it's good to like drink greens. And this has over like, it's either 100 or 200 super, super fruits or super foods from the earth's surface to the ocean's floor. I love it. I literally, I like crave it every day. That green is really making your eyes look lighter. Really lovely. Oh, thank you. Oh, Victoria from Washington State. I've been wanting to go out to Washington. Uh, honestly, I haven't been watching any YouTube. I can't even tell you the last time I watched YouTube. I've been watching my 600 pound life, which I've already seen all the episodes. Um, but I've been rewatching all the episodes. So I don't know. I've been, I like TLC shows and I've just been on like a TV kick right now. I, this is what I do. I go through phases where like I only watch YouTube for a long time. And then I go through phases where I only watch um, like cable, which I don't have cable, but you know, like the, uh, the apps and stuff. I like Discovery Plus. I'm going to go in with a green now. I'm excited to put purple, to put in my purple extensions. I've never had microbead extensions before. I'm nervous. I've never had microbead extensions either. Those, I've had tape-ins and sew-ins. I'm going to go in with the yellow. Next time you're on vacation, you should go to my home country of Puerto Rico. Oh, that would be awesome. I'm going, yeah, I'm going to the Bahamas. Um, I leave this weekend, so I'll be gone for a while. So I just need to get a lot of work done before I leave. So that way I can actually go, you know, and not miss any uploads. Oh, right. I was telling you guys this. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Let me read it to you. It says, Earth and Ocean Greens is a set of the most powerful and best super foods that the earth and ocean can provide. Sorry, I'm very burpy. These include leafy greens, healthy seaweed, natural grasses, high antioxidant fruits, Nutrious vegetables, deep ocean minerals, and plant-based digestive enzymes containing over 100 plus whole food source ingredients. This daily green infusion can help support your immune system, boost antioxidants in your body, and assist with improved digestion and help deliver nutrients your body craves. So there you go. That's what it is. Oh, hi, Megan. So I'm just going in with this real quick. I don't like missing uploads. I feel like, ugh, dude, the amount of times I've missed work is like slim to none. I, I'm like very strict on myself about my work schedule and not missing uploads. You see how pretty these blend together? Like look how seamless these colors blend together. The yellow straight up into the green. It's just like the most beautiful oh, transition. I love yellows and I love greens. I wish they weren't so hard to get out of the hair because <laughs> Your bitch would be dyeing her hair green and blue and yellow more often. The eyeshadow look is giving. Aw. Thank you. Yeah, I did this look for St. Patrick's Day weekend when I was visiting my mom. And I, look at that. Look how pretty that is. Like this on the hair. Like imagine dyeing your hair to match. <laughs> Scrum diddly umptious. I'm hoping now that surgery is done and over with, I can save up for one of your palettes or a t-shirt or something. Aw, that would be awesome. Also, I'm excited. I don't, I honestly, like, 
some people are very secretive with like stuff coming out i am so bad at keeping secrets so i'm actually working on a shirt right now and it's from spoiled so it's through her people like merchant i don't know what they're called people like manufacturer hello <laughs> manufacturer it's through her manufacturer so um she actually like like made a shirt for me that's like it says like stay weird on it and it has my palette image on it it's so freaking cute you guys when you see it it is so freaking cute she sent it to me last year she was like look at this shirt like isn't it cute and i was like are we making those or what so i just asked her a couple days ago like so are we gonna come out with this shirt are we gonna make this shirt because it's really cute and i think you guys would really like it so we are gonna do that hopefully this month we will be launching a t-shirt and it's so cute you guys it is when you guys see it and it's super affordable so oh thank you angel i don't know that i'm cool <laughs> i'm full of mental problems <laughs> which can be very hard to have friends that have mental illnesses but your pink snake earrings need to make an appearance with your neon hair friday they're my fave oh i like never wear earrings anymore i don't know because most of the time when i'm filming um i'm doing my hair so like earrings get in the way so i normally just don't wear them I'm going to go in with the black right here, this black one, and I'm just going to start deepening things up to make it more like emerald and smoky. I want a huge stay weird hoodie. Dude, hoodies are so hard to make through the company that I go through. Like it's the quality is just trash. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like the hoodie quality is nice, but the print on the hoodie is like super, super difficult it's just like, and I don't have anybody that I can talk to or anything like that. Merch is a really, really hard thing to do for somebody who has no help. Like I don't have management. I don't have anybody that responds to my emails. I have literally nobody that helps me with anything. I taught myself how to edit. I literally watch YouTube videos on different cameras and different lightings and how to hook up monitors. Like I've, I've actually taught myself literally everything. Um, <laughs> guess who just sent me an email, y'all? You want to guess who just sent me an email? Arctic Fox just sent me an email. I haven't read it, but I'll be interested to read that. Anyway, so yeah, I can't like talk to somebody about design or like, you know, if something's not right, it's like I have to reach out to customer service just like anybody else if something's going on. So now that Jess, I have Jess that I can talk to about these things. She actually has somebody who manufactures all of her makeup palettes, all of her, she's like clothing and like all this stuff. So um, it's nice that I'm able to actually work with somebody where I can like, you know, she has a direct contact at like manufacturers and stuff. Makes it easier. Look how pretty. Ah! Girl hit me up, I'll, I do design and can make for you. Aww. Does Euro Euro Pink really stay in your hair forever? Yeah, it really, it really does. I really want to dye my hair pink and I want it on my hair forever. Oh yeah, definitely do that then. Definitely, definitely. If your hair is healthier, obviously it's not going to last as long, but if you have any sort of like bleach damage, <laughs> it's going to cling and it's going to stay there. I love the color combination with your eye makeup. Oh, thank you. I, I love greens and stuff. Okay, so now that I put the black on there, obviously it needs blending. So I'm going to go back in with just this green shade right here gonna pick it up and I'm gonna blend it out a little bit more so we're gonna blend it pick up a little bit more green and I'm not the best at makeup you guys like that's kind of I feel weird about doing makeup videos because like I'm not very good like I'm not a makeup artist or anything again I literally taught myself everything I know about makeup from watching YouTube videos so I'm not the best at makeup um I literally just do what I taught myself. So sorry if it's not very good, but if you want to be like super good, definitely watch some um, YouTube videos of like makeup artists. Cause that's how I learned everything I know about it is through people on YouTube teaching. Can I send you a neon tie dye hoodie? I can put stay weird on it. That would be so cool, but I don't, I do have a PO box, but it's not for like uh, public or anything like that. It's a private PO box for companies because I'm really weird about like my location and letting people know where I live and stuff. Cause I've had a few people ask about PO boxes and I do have one, but it's not, it's literally just for like companies that want to send something. So I appreciate it. That sounds really freaking awesome. 
I'm, I can envision it in my head and it's like, I can see how amazing it would be. It would look so cool with rainbow hair too. Just came in from a walk trying to catch up. Oh, hi. We're not doing anything. We're just chilling, doing our makeup. Oh, thank you, Shelby. I love doing makeup. Don't get me wrong. I love doing it. And I have a passion for it, but I wouldn't say like I'm an artist at it or anything. I also really love greens and I think you do amazing with your makeup looks. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I feel like that's how like um, a majority of us learned how to do makeup is just watching people on YouTube how to do it. This is so pretty. Look how that's like so electric. This is why I love my palette, you guys. Like, okay, this is, I swear to God, when I say my palette is literally like the perfect palette, it's literally the perfect palette. The only thing it's missing is a white, like just like a matte white. That's the only color that I would say that needs to be in here. But literally what I just did, I used three colors. I used black, green, and yellow. You could literally do this exact variation of makeup with anything in here. Like you could go in with purple, then you could darken it with the black and then you could blend it out with a pink. So you could do this exact makeup look in literally all of these different colors. Like you could go in with blue and darken it up with black and then blend it out with purple. You could go in like what I did today with the green, the black, the yellow. You can go in with red, deepen it up with the black, blend it out with the orange or the yellow. Like you can do sunset looks, you could do purple, orange, yellow. Like it's just, the possibilities are endless. And then if you don't like bright makeup, I had Chipotle, so I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like full, full. But if you don't like bright makeup, there's also so many neutrals in here. And these all blend out so beautifully in the variation of dark to light. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. I love it so much. And I panic about not, not being able to ac access it in the future. <laughs> Hey, being sneaky listening to you while working at 8.30 p.m. in Sweden. Aw, I would love to go to Sweden, honestly. It seems like such a cool place. Like, you guys seem to have it together over there. I'm really full. It's hard to drink this. Aw, thank you, Micah. I love it, too. And it's just cute. On top of everything else, it's just cute as shit. I left it linked in the description. If anybody does want to go look at it or browse Spoiled's website, it's linked in the description down below. It's on sale. I think she's going to leave it on sale. She was only supposed to leave it on for the weekend, but uh, it's still on sale. So <laughs> 22 bucks using my coupon code right now. Okay, I feel like that's good. Let's go ahead and cut my crease. Let me put a little bit more yellow over here because I feel like this eye has more yellow than this one. So let me just... Put a little bit more yellow over here. There we go. <clears throat> I want to see the Northern Lights too. That's like one of my goals is to see the Northern Lights. Oh, my baby's good. He's over here. I'll show you guys. Let me see. He's so cute. He makes me want to cry. You guys see him? Can I zoom in on him? Oh my God, I can. <laughs> I will absolutely cry, you guys. Look at him. I tell you guys in my videos, this is what I have to do every single time I film. I take off the shirt that I was wearing all day. I put it over there for him. I put on a new shirt and he curls up with my shirt every single time I film. Because if I don't do that, he comes over to me and keeps trying to jump on my lap because he wants me to hold him. And I'm like, I can't hold you while I'm trying to work. So I always just take off my shirt and put it over there. And then he literally knocks the F out. Like, look at him. He is like knocked out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's my shirt. He's all curled up on my shirt right now. <laughs> Isn't he cute? <laughs> Ugh, literally, I'm literally gonna cry. I have a little tear in my eye because he's so cute. Literally not me about to cry. He's so cute. I love him. Ugh, he's my baby. He's been sick too. He hasn't been feeling very good. So oh, I'm glad he's getting some sleep. Yeah, my palette ships worldwide. So no matter where you live, I've heard some people have, is it called customs? Um, I think that's where... I don't actually know how custom works because I don't think the United States does customs, but is that where like a package shows up at your door and then they make you pay like an amount or something at your door? So I've heard some people say that they get customs and then also sometimes shipping can be pricey, I think, to other places. But I, again, I don't know. If you live somewhere else and you purchase my palette, if you want to say how much you paid for shipping, 
I don't know if this was months ago now, but how's Luna? I think she was at the vets. Yeah, she has diabetes, but she's been medicated on Bexicat, which is a diabetes medication for a long time, since like November probably. Yeah, since like November, I think. So she's doing great. She gets her blood work again when I get back from the Bahamas. So mid-April, she's gonna get her blood work done again. And this will be, I think, six months of her on the medication, so. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. Aw, thank you, Angel, you're very sweet. Sorry, it's hard for me to do this and focus. Oh, I have so much stuff to do before I leave. But I'll get it done, I'll get it all done. My sweet baby, so adorable. Am I getting it here? There we go. Looking like a whole ass Mountain Dew bottle. Okay. Now, we can wipe away the extra, fill it in. <laughs> Literally stop breathing, cutting the crease, for real. Same. I just wipe away all the, uh, oh, monster. I'm actually gonna crack one open. As soon as I get done with my greens, I allow myself to have a monster. I have a whole ass morning routine. I wake up, I have to drink at least one full bottle of water. After my bottle of water, I then can move on and drink my greens. Then once I drink my greens, I'm allowed a caffeinated drink. <laughs> Cause I don't know about you guys, but I am super caffeine sensitive. We need a Baja Blast look that I will do that when I go back. I'm a Virgo. I'm a Virgo, Virgo, Gemini. What is it? Virgo, I forget how it goes. My main sign's Virgo. Then one of them, it's like a rising. I can't remember how it goes. What is it? It's like a moon and a rising. Is that how it goes? Virgo something, Virgo moon, Gemini rising. I think that's how it goes. I don't know. But I'm a Virgo on Virgo and I definitely identify with that. Like I am a... Uh, Straight up Virgo. Couldn't have printed a Virgo more Virgo than my ass. That's for sure. I'll catch up on comments on just a second. Sorry, I'm trying to wipe this. Sun, moon, moon, and rising. Okay, so I'm a Virgo sun, Virgo moon, and a Gemini rising. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, Heather. I, I'm probably not going to do Vlogmas this year either just because um, I'm trying to move, you guys. I'm trying to move. I saw your Insta post and thought you had rainbowed your hair again. No, that was from last summer. Um, but I am tomorrow. I think I decided on tomorrow. It depends on how I feel tonight because I am still recovering. I was sick. If you guys follow my Instagram, you know I was sick. And I'm still on the end of that. So if I feel okay today after working, then um, I'll film tomorrow too. I'll, I'll film back to back. And then Friday I can just edit all day and go in a little cave and edit my life away. <coughs> I edited two videos yesterday, filming two videos today, filming two videos tomorrow, and then I need to edit like four videos on Friday. So <laughs> if you wanna go and enjoy the vacation, then uh, you gotta work before you go. Okay, I think that's good. Oh my God, he's so cute. I'm gonna lose it. Somebody, you guys listen to this shit. Somebody told me that I was mentally ill for calling my cats son and daughters and my niece, that's a dog, my niece. They said, I hope you get the mental help you need because I call my kids, like them, my kids and stuff. I'm like, I mean, if you want to pay for it, I'll go get mental help. Trust me. Like if you're willing to pay for it, sign me the F up. You know what I'm saying? But if you're not willing to fork out the money, then... Maybe don't say anything. Maybe keep it to yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry. And honestly, it pissed me off because, okay, yeah, I can have kids. Biologically, if I wanted to, I could have kids. I don't want kids. But imagine somebody who literally can't have kids because of fertility issues. So then they decide to adopt animals instead. And they literally view them like their children because they're not able to have kids. Like, imagine how offensive that is to people 
who literally biologically cannot procreate so they decide to have cats or dogs and they like want a family still so they like consider them their family i'm just like bruh i mean it's water off my back because it's like you didn't tell me anything i don't know by calling me mentally ill like hey <laughs> i mean if it quacks like a duck here i am you know what i'm saying <laughs> but uh still it's like i just felt bad for the people who maybe can't have kids and so they have animals instead and they call them their kids and i'm just like bro but you know who is that person to take time out of their day and comment on my stuff i think maybe they should uh get a life or pay more attention to their kids you know what i'm saying maybe hop offline and pay more attention to your own children they're called fur babies for a reason exactly oh thank you micah it's definitely not flawless it is still yellow back here compared to the front, but it's good. I'm happy with it. I'm definitely happy with it. And I am leaving it alone. Oh my God, he's belly up. You're gonna tell me that that's not a child right there? Look at that. That is a full on child. He relies on me for his food. I, I call that a kid. I don't know. I call my dog son all the time. Exactly. It's just funny. It's funny because like I never post. I like I barely ever post like mean stuff that I get or hate comments. I normally just delete and block. Just delete and block. Just delete and block. Just delete and block. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, it doesn't matter what I say to them. They think they're right at the end of the day, you know? So I normally don't even talk about it. But I thought that one was kind of funny. I was just like, bro. You're not insulting me by telling me I have a mental illness because we all are very aware of that. Thank you so much. Thank you for your input. Isn't he cute? <laughs> He's so adorable. And my other two, like I have three cats and my other two definitely act more just like cats. Like they're just cats, you know what I mean? Like I still, they're still my kids, but their behavior is very much just cat behavior. <laughs> Whereas he is very much like an actual toddler. He acts like a toddler okay so i don't think i want to do gold on my lid so let's choose a different color let's see maybe we could do maybe we could do the yellow the duochrome yellow maybe we could do we could do duochrome yellow and blue or we could do the duochrome highlighter what do we think? Highlighter, yellow, blue. I'm kind of thinking yellow into blue. These two, except for like this, yellow into blue. What do you guys think? Let me know. I don't really want to do gold. Yes, somebody did. <laughs> somebody told me that I had mental issues because I refer to my cats as son and daughter and kids. <laughs> did she really? Let me check. Sorry. Somebody said Billy posted a tease on her Instagram. Let me just get on there real quick and see what's up. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, she did. She sure did. Oh, this is a new one. I haven't seen that new one. Okay. So everybody's saying um, yellow and blue. So we'll do yellow and blue. And then I will fade it into the green. Because I liked the St. Patrick's Day look, but it's not St. Patrick's Day, so I don't really want to do gold anymore. So we'll do yellow and blue. Do you have any speculation on what to expect? Um, do you mean from Billy? Yeah, I do. I follow a lot of forums and stuff. So they're saying that she's going to release a single on 4-4, which is tomorrow. So apparently she's releasing a single then and then everybody's speculating that she's going to release her album on her dad's birthday, which is in July. So because the past two albums she released on her brother and her mom's birthday. Um, so she's people are thinking she's going to release her next album. Sorry. Can you guys hear me? 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 Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, guess who just called me? Logan passed the bar. That was it. Somebody just asked about it. Logan passed the MF and bar. Everybody give him a round of applause because the pass rate in Virginia was like 
So Logan killed it. Here, he's here, he's here, he's here, you guys. Everybody tell him congratulations. Look at all those, Logan. <laughs> he finally got it. Yay. Yay, everybody say yay. Aw, it sucks. Of course, the one time I go live, I can't talk to him. Isn't that awesome, you guys? My brother is officially a lawyer, so everybody who's trying me better watch out because I have free representation. I know that's right. I know that's right. All right, we're gonna go on with this. We're gonna go in with the, uh, mm -hmm, the yellow. My sweet son over there. Aw, isn't that awesome? Okay. <clears throat> Let's go and I'm gonna go in with the duo chrome yellow. We're gonna put it on there. Aw, I know he's so relieved right now. I'm happy for him too. I'm a little bummed. Cause if he didn't pass, he might've been living with me for a while. So that part sucks, but uh, I am happy for him overall. Cause now he can actually have a career and make a shit ton of money. So good for him. So Logan, you can tell them what you wanna do or where you wanna live or stuff if you want. I know you, so he already has a job offer um, that was contingent on him passing the bar. So he does have a job offer. If he wants to share it with you, he can, but um, if he doesn't want to because of privacy, I get it. But if he wants to share with you guys the job and where he'll be working and stuff, he can, or at least like, you know, what he'll be doing. I'll let him tell you guys in the comments. So there's the yellow. We are headed to Tulsa, baby. I know that's right. So yeah, if you live in Tulsa, you'll probably catch me there a lot because I will be going there a lot to visit my brother. I love Tulsa, honestly. It's beautiful there. And we're gonna go in with the blue. With a little bit of blue. <laughs> Everybody's so happy for you, Logue. Aw, sorry I couldn't talk to you. I was gonna text you on my other phone I have sitting here. That is so exciting. I'm so happy. Yay! Ooh, these are so shiny. So shiny. I'm a paralegal for a firm that does a lot of employment discrimination cases, never a dull moment with clients. <laughs> Logan said, now I just need a girlfriend. I am so done. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a green. This is a duochrome chrome green, and it has a little bit of a purple in there. I'm just gonna put it in between these two colors to kind of blend the yellow and the blue. That's pretty. Oh, snap, ladies. He sure is a single man. <laughs> I told you guys I want to do like The Bachelor or something. <laughs> If we draw fan art of you, where can we send it to? You can tag me on Instagram. I don't have somewhere that you can send it, but you can always tag me on Instagram and I will definitely see if you tag me on there. I'm just gonna go in with the green and uh, blend it in to the sides a little bit here. See, I would have been done by now if I didn't come on live because I have to stop and conversate. So we gotta kick it into high gear. Okay. I'm just blending in the green to the sides. That's good. I like that. That's good, right? You got family in Tulsa? I love Tulsa, honestly. Kind of sketches me out because the first 48, but where Logan works and stuff, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. I love Tulsa. So I am excited for him to be there. Um, we. It depends on what you mean by closer. He's been traveling a lot, so... Ever since he went to the Marine Corps, he's been everywhere. So he's never been like somewhere for like a long period of time. He's in North Carolina right now. So he will be closer to me in Tulsa than he is right now in North Carolina. But he's been closer in the past. He's lived closer to me than Tulsa. But hey, I'll take what I can get. You know what I mean? I'll take what I can get. It's not close. We'll have to take a plane to see each other. <laughs> How the fuck is Logan single? A hot lawyer now. That will change quickly. <laughs> Probably because he's going to be... I kept telling him like now that he's going somewhere for like a long period of time, I think he'll meet someone very easily because he's been like moving so much. So now that he's gonna be like somebody somewhere working for like a while, um, I think he's gonna meet somebody very easily. Okay, we're gonna go in with some glitter on the crease. 
So I'm gonna have you guys help me choose a glitter to use, okay? Let's choose a glitter. I've got, I've got pretty much every color, but I'm thinking I don't want gold. I'm not really in the mood for gold. I mean, that gold would be cute. Let's do silver, this is like a yellow gold. My stomach hurts, hi. Mm. Yeah, this one might be perfect actually. I think this one would be good. This one has like, glitter makes, oh dude, glitter makes everything better. I have these, but I think this yellow might work better, this one. Cause this yellow, the undertone is green. I think I'm gonna go in with this one. Let me swatch it for you guys. It's hard to see the undertone on camera. Let me show you. No time for a girlfriend with all that studying. Exactly. Okay, there you go. Do you guys see that? It has like a greenish undertone. I think that would go good. Yeah, the yellow. I think the yellow too. Cause the yellow, it has a heavy green undertone to it. You see that? It's been a wild year. I cannot, I mean, I don't want to say I can't believe you passed, but like I can, but it's just like the stress of it all had me doubting there for a second. You know what I'm saying? We were, we were doubting for a minute. We were like, is he going to pass? It seems so difficult to do. Okay. Sorry, you guys. I got to go in here. Okay, there it is. This glitter is like duochrome, so it's like orange and green. It's super cool. Okay. There we go. Pretty. All right. Let's do my base. It's raining. It's been raining for like 48 hours here. I'm gonna go in with Feed Your Face Serum. We're doing all the green stuff today, aren't we? Ow, my nose ring it's flared up so bad it's just now starting to heal so i'm trying not to freaking tear it this is why i don't like piercings this is why i'd rather get a tattoo over a piercing because piercings just flare up they take forever to heal okay all right now i'm gonna go in with some moisturizer and then we'll do foundation real quick And I'm going in with the uh, Make Me Wet. This stuff smells so good. Oh, is it snowy in Finland? We're supposed to get snow tonight, which I don't, I mean, I'm hoping we don't because we already have stuff on the trees here. Everything's already in bloom. So I'm like, let's not backstep and like kill everything. But, you know, I'm no mother nature. So <laughs> I don't have any control over that. Okay. Oh, my mom just texted me. She said, I'm so happy I'm in tears that he passed. That is so freaking awesome. All right. Let's go in with some foundation. Try not to get this in my hair. I haven't been liking a lot of foundation lately. I don't know. I've been liking more of like a natural skin. I'm trying not to add too much on here. Yeah, I got cold and windy today. I just want spring. Yeah, same. I just want spring too. I'm over. I love the snow, honestly, and stuff, but you know, definitely over it. All of this on my eyes, yes, is from my eyeshadow palette, other than the glitter I put right here on my crease. The little, see that glimmer right there? But everything else, yeah. I used the yellow, green, black, and then these three duo chromes. That's all I used. Okay. I need to wet a beauty blender too because uh, I forgot to wet it before I started. I've been on 
retinoin for a month or so and I don't use foundation anymore. It just feels weird and looks unnatural. Yeah, I think, honestly, I think I look better without foundation, but I put it on because I cover my face tattoos. So that's the main reason I wear it. If I didn't have them, I probably wouldn't wear it, but. You know, Mama is proud. Both of her babies are on the road to success. So happy for you guys. Time to celebrate big. Oh, well, I don't know about me. <laughs> I'm kind of out here floating on a rock, but uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how my life turns out. That's kind of questionable at this point. It just physically feels weird now that my skin is a little sensitive. Yeah, I bet. Foundation is just like, like this is like the most natural, nice, light foundation, but I just hate the feeling of like, I can't scratch my face. I need to be careful about like what I'm touching, you know? How long do you think you wanna grow out your hair? Uh, well, I'm bleaching my roots today, so I'm not growing it out yet. I don't know, honestly. I'm just not ready to grow it out yet. Last time I committed to growing out my hair, I was like full on ready. I'm not ready yet, you know? I'm just not ready yet, so who knows? I don't know when I'm gonna start growing out my hair or if I am, but what is going on with my face? I just wear a little bit of foundation to cover up BB cream is the best, I agree. Yeah. I don't use BB cream. I just use Spoiled's foundation. It's super light, it's dewy. It just makes my skin a little bit more even. You know, like I don't look really cakey or anything right now. It's just like evens out my skin tone a little bit. Okay. And I'm in shade four and five, I mix them. I'm more of a five than a four, but I do mix them. And these, this foundation, has like healing properties in it. So if you struggle with acne or you have rosacea or anything like that, the formulation in this has a lot of plants in it. So it helps like heal and soothe your skin. I forgot to prime my face, but we're in too deep now, guys. We're in too deep now. And then I'm gonna go in with Derma Blend because it helps cover my tattoos. I can't stand how foundation feels. I'll try spooled because I like to use a little under my eyes. Yeah, or you could always just use concealer too. But I do really like the spoiled foundation. It just, it's so light but it's buildable so if you do like full coverage you can always add a couple more layers to it but i just do like a little bit and it also i love the packaging of it the packaging is like vacuum sealed so like at the bottom here it pumps up whereas with like stuff this is my old foundation i used to use you never get the last drop of this stuff like it's impossible to get all of it out because it's glass and you can't really scrape it clean whereas this is sealed so like as it pumps it pushes all of the product up so you get every last drop so you get your money's worth whereas a lot of foundations are in like bottles or squeezy things so you're wasting a lot of foundation or you have to try and like rip it open to get the last drops okay i have large pores and foundation looks like shit even primers don't help yeah i have i don't know if i have large pores but I have a lot of like blackheads on my nose and on my chin. And as many as like so many people claim like, oh, our product will reduce your pores. It'll shrink your pores. It'll fill your pores. Like, okay, it's never worked for me. <laughs> it doesn't do that for me. You know, my skin might look a little bit better or the product might lay a little bit nicer, but you're not gonna totally fix the texture of my skin. You know, you're not gonna make my large pores small. It's just not gonna happen. Like, sorry. Unless you like cut out my skin and give me something new. It ain't gonna happen, that's gimmicky. I used to do makeup and hair for weddings. Make sure you test your makeup look in both natural light at the venue. What shade are you in Spoiled Foundation? I feel like your skin is so similar to mine, so a starting point would be helpful. Um, mine, I'm a shade five. I do have every single shade in the Spoiled Foundation. So if you are curious, I can swatch them for you because I have all the shades. So if you want to see a comparison of like shade four versus shade five or shade five versus shade six, I have them all so I can swatch them for you. I know it won't be like on your skin, but I can at least show you like the undertone comparison. If any of you guys are curious what shade you are, I do have all of them. So I can show you if you want, or if you're curious about what shade you are. I need a little bit more of this. I've been breaking out a little bit, probably from a eating like shit. Ooh, 
Hello, are you done? Thank you. I think texture on skin is so beautiful. It's not my thing. I would rather like it be smooth, but I can totally see how somebody would think it's beautiful. Different people, you know, think different things are beautiful. That's why I feel like there's somebody out there for everybody. Cause not everybody could handle my crazy ass, but Aaron's literally like sculpted straight up for me. He's just like literally my perfect match. Salicylic acid is holy grail for blackheads and yeah, nothing will shrink your pores. I've never tried salicylic acid. I thought your hair was gray color. Did it wash out? Yeah, I washed it like, it was gray and then I dyed it purple, like purpley pink. And it washed out within like two or three washes of just washing it like normal. So yeah, it washed out very easily. Yeah, Shelby, just tell me what swatches you're interested in seeing and I'll swatch them for you. Just let me know. I'm nervous to order the foundation because I'm normally two shades. Plus I ordered a lipstick and it did not match me. I gave it away. Oh, well, I have all of them. So if you need any comparisons, I can show you. It's a breath of fresh air seeing what a happy couple you are. I know, I literally, <laughs> this might sound bad, but every time somebody gets together and they're like, oh my God, they treat me so well, like they're the best. I'm just like, I never believe in anybody else's relationships because mine is so good. I'm like, nobody else could possibly have what I have. Like that's my mental thinking, which I know is probably not healthy and it's probably not good. And there probably are actually couples out there that are just as matched as Aaron and I are and that just have as much of a soul connection as Aaron and I do. But it's so hard for me to believe that. Like, I just can't believe that somebody else is meshed so well with somebody or has that deep connection. I'm like, yeah, okay, good luck to you. You know what I mean? I'm always just like, hope it works out for you, but uh, I don't think it will which is probably bad, but hey. Okay, we'll do some contour. I use shade 13 in Spoiled to contour. It's like more of a cool toned contour shade. Ooh. I should have rinsed these brushes out a little bit more. Your relationship reminds me of my son and his girlfriend there, also Virgo and Libra, aww. Well, that's better than you saying, oh, I wish I had that. That is so true. You're right on that one. Definitely is better than me saying, I wish I had it. It's just hard for me to believe that somebody else has what I have. I just can't even imagine. I feel like it's so real. What can I do for my halo gray hair in the middle of my head? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? What can you do? Ethan and Hila seem pretty much like you and Aaron. Yeah, that's true. That is true. See, there are some people like that who like, I feel like are, but like you never know what they're like behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I think couples are like that and then you hear about them getting a divorce or like something happening and it's like, you know, a lot of people on social media, I feel like pretend to have healthy, good relationships. Four through six, I've got more pink undertones and it's so hard to find something that doesn't look yellow on me. Yes, shade four is probably gonna be your best bet. I'll grab shade six in a second here, but between shade four and five, five is more yellow undertone, which is what I am, and four is more pink, so I'll show you. Do you have any plans for your next hair color? Yeah, I'm dyeing my hair neon tomorrow, neon rainbow, and it's gonna look freaking sick. I'm trying a new hair dye company too, which I'm really excited about. Let me grab shade four for you, or six, I mean. I have all the shades here. You only know what a person as well as, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I do, I have a new pattern in mind and everything. Okay, there's five, there's four. I can probably throw the boxes away. I really don't need to hoard boxes like a weirdo. Hi, buddy. Are you sleeping good over there, sweet baby? Okay. Shade nine, three. If anybody else is curious, oh, I'll show you shade three too. I was just about to say. If anybody else wants to see any shades, now would be the time. There's six. And then you wanted to see three. Here's 10. Let me see, three. Okay. okay I got three, four, five, and six. So if anybody else wants to see any shades, let me know. Okay, here we go. Three. So this is shade three. OMG, I missed your face. Oh, hi, Amy. 
So I don't really have a good place to swatch them. Um, how about I just swatch them on my hands? One and two. Okay, let me grab one and two real quick. I'll do one through six. And then if anybody else wants anything else, I can add it to the end. Here's one. Two. There you go. Okay. Get this out of the way here. One and two. Look at one. One is like white. I'll show shade seven too for you. Okay. Make sure I leave enough room on my hands. There's one. <laughs> Swatching on my hand is hard because I have to try and like not bend it. <laughs> okay, there's one. Let's see, two. Bad idea swatching it on my hand, but what what is a girl to do when she's just so fucking tatted? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not nearly enough. Okay, this is shade two. Okay, let me rub that in next to shade one. And I gotta make sure to leave enough room for y'all. There's one and two. Maybe on paper, yeah, I should, but I'm already in toe deep, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm in too deep. Okay, three. Okay, I might also go live while I'm in the Bahamas, you guys, to do my makeup, like if we go out or something. There's three. So I might do more lives next week while I'm there. This packaging is so cute too. I love the little holographic lips. It's cute and it's called, I do you. Okay, three, let's go back to the packaging. Your blonde hair is looking fiery. Oh, thank you. It's gonna be gone tomorrow. There's four. Dang, four looks so dark compared to these other ones. <laughs> okay. That's what I use, four and five. Five is my main color. I do a lot of five, and in the summertime, I can just do five. Um, but because it's, you know, still cold and I haven't gotten any sun, I have to add a little bit of four in there. Okay, there's one through five. Let me see, this one's six. Let me go in with six for you, and then I'll add seven on the end for you guys. Oh, hi, Amanda. I love your palette. My 12-year-old daughter thinks it's hilarious when I try to use it. I always end up looking like I have bruised eyes. <laughs> I literally have no makeup skills. That's okay. Everybody starts somewhere. Even like, even using just the shimmers, you know what I mean? You could just put the shimmers on your eyes. Sorry, I'm trying to squeeze this out without not ruining, without ruining all the swatches I have here. There we go. Six. Ooh, almost just knocked it over. Okay, let me grab seven for you real quick. One, two, three. So number three has more of those yellow undertones. I think it might be, it's not hailing, but I think it's sleeting outside. I can hear it. All right, let me try and grab seven without ruining things here. Number seven. Look at that, I had just enough room for all of these. There's also, I think there's a um, quiz on the website if you guys want to see what shade you are. Here you go. So that's one through seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm a five, so I'm a five right here, but I mix a little bit of four in there but I'm more of a five. Five has more yellow, four has more pink. You can see three has yellow, two has pink, and one's pretty neutral. One's more of a neutral. Has a little bit more pinky, but it's pretty neutral. There you go. There's one through seven. Hope that helps. I'll leave them on my hand for a minute in case anybody else needs to see um, them compared to each other. It's kind of hard to do stuff, but I'll try and not mess them up. Or if you want to take a screenshot of them, 
And if you do get foundation, use my code, you guys, because you're going to save money if you use my code. I think you get like 15% off. So instead of paying full price, here they are if you want to take a screenshot of one through seven. One through seven. There you be. And I use shade 13 as contour. They're all such pretty shades. They did that. I know. The formulation is so good, you guys. If you ever, like, want a new foundation, you want to try it, I'm telling you what. The formulation is so much better than any other foundation I've tried. It is so, like, dewy, but also, like, very gentle on your skin. If you have skin conditions, it's such a good foundation for that. I used my eyeshadow palette on my eyes. I used yellow, green, black, and then I used a couple duo chrome shades. I know, isn't it? she's so pretty. I love my eyeshadow palette. I literally use it all the time. Okay, we gotta set my face. We gotta get going, you guys, or else I'm gonna be working late as All right, I'm trying not to. Uh... Yes, it's moisturizing. Okay, I'm gonna set under my eyes with this. I've been using MAC Studio Fix. I found this at a discount store and it just happened to be in my shade. And watch this, see my tattoos? It like, watch this. It like does such a good job of covering up my tattoos. I normally just use the MAC Studio Fix in my T-zone and then I'll go in with my Makeup A Murder. If anybody else, um, does anybody else need this? Because if not, I'm going to wipe it off. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. I wonder why. I hope I didn't throw that away. I feel like I threw away my brush. I haven't been live forever, Missy. It's been a while since last year at some point. I think I have. I think having the right brush to apply makeup is, with is important. I always apply it with my fingers. Oh, yeah. now that I have upgraded to brushes, my makeup has improved. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Logan, shut up, you do not. Anybody else need these? Cause I'm gonna wipe them off if y'all are good. Or you can go back through and take a screenshot after the live is over. Or I think you can rewind it too. I think on YouTube you can rewind lives. Oh my God, he's so cute. All right, I'm gonna wipe it off. We good? Three, two, one, we're good. I just know I'm gonna make a mess of that and get it on everything if I don't wipe it off. Okay, I'm gonna go with my Makeup A Murder powder. And I have to set my whole face. If I don't set my whole face, it feels sticky, you know? I don't like stickiness. That's part of the reason I don't like wearing foundation that often, because sometimes it can feel sticky, so I always set it. Especially on days like today when I'm doing multiple videos and they're all hair videos. I have to make sure that I set my base really well because I am washing. You guys know I wash my hair. A lot of you guys are like, how does your makeup stay on when you wash your hair? And honestly, I'm just like, um, like very careful. I flip my head over in the sink. Yeah, I have a, a few, Isabella. I have three face tattoos. I probably wouldn't get any more. I would get like this side right here, but I wouldn't get any more. I would answer that question, but I don't want to seem stupid. Let me just Google who that is real quick before I get roasted on the internet. <laughs> okay, let me see. Who is that? The name sounds very familiar. Oh, shit. Oh, she's the girl from uh, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I'm done. I'm so done. Do I like her? I don't know her. I've, I know nothing about her to have an opinion about her, honestly. <laughs> I'm sure she's a great person. Or if she's not alive anymore, I'm sure she was a great person. But I literally know nothing about her. I've maybe seen that movie one time ever. <laughs> Apologize. It was never my movie. Never my vibe. All right, moving on to blush and contour. Are you done back there popping off? Okay, I have residue on my brushes. I should have made sure to clean them better. It's fine, everything's fine. Okay, contour. 
Favorite horror movie? I'm really not into horror movies anymore. I used to when I was in high school. I went through a little phase of horror movies, but like my life is like a horror movie. So I try not to watch them because it just like really emphasizes that your life can become reality. So I don't watch them very much, but I love the Scream movies. Things that have like some sort of humor to them, I can watch. But something that's like straight up slasher or like people are getting... I don't like watching movies like that because that shit is a little too realistic for me. <laughs> and I don't like feeling sad. Like honestly, like let me watch a comedy or something that's gonna make me happy and not something that's gonna make me super freaking sad. So I don't really watch a lot of horror movies anymore. During Valent Valentine's Day, yeah. During uh, Halloween, I will watch like Scream or some movies that have some sort of like comedy behind them. Some comedic relief, if you will. I also just like watching like kitty horror movies, you know? I don't know who that is. Y'all, I swear to God, you would think I was homeschooled. Is that somebody from Game of Thrones? Let me look up this person. Y'all educate me today. Targaryen? Oh, it is. <laughs> Well, I did know that was from Game of Thrones. Well, thank you. Right? Are you saying I look like somebody who's in that, like, whatever it's called? It's not called a house because this isn't Harry Potter, but, like... <laughs> I was going to say, are you saying I look like I'm from that house? <laughs> but... <laughs> no. Not not a house. It's, uh, what is it? I don't know. Tribe? Somebody better come get her. Gotta go, but it was so nice seeing your beautiful face today. Thank you. Oh, bye, Sonia. It's your white hair. Yeah, probably. It's a house slash family. Okay, family. Right, that's what I was thinking of. I'm going in with both of my highlighters. I mix them together, and it creates, like, a really pretty, like, champagne-y highlight. It's so pretty. I love it. Oh! Mama of the dragons. Okay, well, I can... I'll be the mother of the dragons. People keep saying I look like Rhea Ripley. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Is that right? Rhea Ripley. I get that in like almost every single one of my YouTube videos. And I just think it's a short hair. I think it's like when I wear dark makeup and short hair, people just like think I look like her. Cause I don't think I look like her, but she's hot as fuck. So <laughs> I'll take it. Gotta mix up those greens. You know what I'm saying? I would rescue the dragons. You're very right. I would. I watched all of Game of Thrones and I actually really liked it except for the ending was absolute shh. But other than that, it was good. All right, let's finish up under the eyes. Rhea Ripley looks like you. <laughs> I don't I think she might be older than me. Hey Siri, how old is Rhea Ripley? She's 27. I'm older than she is. So she does look like me. You're right. She looks older than that. I think she looks older than 27, but what do I know? Yeah, it could be my makeup style. I'm just going in with the same colors that I used on the top. So I'm going with black, then green, and then I'll go in with yellow. I just continue. I'm sweating in here. I'm gonna have to turn the heat off. I can't believe I'm getting older. I can't believe I've made it this far, you guys. I can't believe I've survived this far in my life. Look at how pretty that is, just bringing it around. Are you doing your makeup to go out? Oh, hell no. Where am I going out to? Uh-uh. Bruh, I leave my house like once a week and it's to go to like the post office <laughs> or the grocery store. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm doing my makeup because I have to film. I have to film two videos today and then I also have to film two videos tomorrow because I'm leaving this weekend. I'm going to the Bahamas this weekend, so I'm gonna be gone next week. So I need to have videos done, so that way you guys have something to watch while I'm gone. All right, that's good for the under eyes. Let's put these makeup brushes away. Oh, my baby, he's so cute. Okay. What else needs done? We need lashes, lips, inner corner highlight. Let's do inner corner highlight, because I will forget that for sure. My stomach, I should not have ate Chipotle today. That was such a mistake. I'd rather be hungry than feel the way I feel right now. I'm gonna go in with the gold. I'm going in with these two. Yes, the Bahamas again. It's We're going to a different island than what we went to last time. 
yeah, I would like to do lives more often. It honestly, it always just depends on my mental state, like how my mental health is doing. And I was not doing very good for a very long time, but I'm starting to feel better now. So if I feel well enough to, I would love to do them like once a week because I have to do my makeup for filming anyway. So I would like to go live while I do my makeup and hang out with you guys because a lot of you guys have been asking for makeup videos, especially with my palette. Like I keep getting, like you should do makeup videos with your palette. So I'm hoping that this like helps. I'm not gonna vlog it now. I'm not, it's not a work trip or anything like that. It's just a fun, it's just a fun trip with friends. So I am going alone though. So that's cool. Like I'm meeting people there but um, I'm the only one out of the whole group that's going alone. Everybody else has somebody to go with them and I'm going by myself, so that's fun. It's just another reminder that I'm alone in this world, but it's fine, it's fine. All right, I'm, you know, I'm a strong, independent ass bitch. I don't need anybody else with me. I can handle my own. I can get my own Ubers, I can get my own taxi, I can get my own shuttle, I can take my own ferry, I can get my own flight, I can pay for my own shit. Like, I don't need anybody, so. I can have a good ass time all by myself. I think her makeup makes her look older. Who, me? Or Rhea? -da 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 -da. Yeah, I have you, but you can't come. I already asked your ass. You said no. Logan said no. I don't want to hang out with you. I don't like you. He said, I wish I had a different sister. Aaron can't go. He has to work. He went to the Bahamas in November and he took time off for that. So he doesn't have any extra time to take off. So he would lose his job if he went. <laughs> I'll be your partner for the trip. I know, right? <sighs> if only you guys knew. <laughs> okay, Logan, make up whatever narrative you want in your head. How did who meet? Me and um, who? Me and Aaron or me and my friends that are going on the trip? Or me and Logan? <laughs> Sorry, I'm peeling off old glue if you're wondering. I showed your red eye makeup to a friend. She was really surprised it wasn't all muddy. Like it can happen with reds I noticed and the red in your palette is pinkier than others. Let me see. I don't think my red in my palette's pinkier. It's, I feel like it's definitely a true I feel like if anything, it's a little orange. It's a true red for sure. I don't think it's very pinky. Let me show you next to the pink. Yeah, I feel like it leans a little orange actually. But uh, I feel like the key to making your eyeshadow last is um, priming your eyes. If you prime your eyes, it lasts so much better. But I literally wash my hair like multiple times while I'm filming with a full face of makeup on. And I, I think I've messed up my makeup maybe one time when filming. No, I put on mascara after, um, before my lashes. Wait, I put on mascara and then I put on my lashes. I just like to peel off the old glue, put the new glue on, and then I wait for the glue to get tacky. And while I'm waiting for the glue to get tacky, I put on mascara and curl my lashes. Cause I, I need to start peeling off the old glue right after I get done using them, but I never do. And I'm stuck with them. But like I said, I'm not vlogging the Bahamas, but I think I might go live while I'm there. I might go live and do makeup with you guys. Cause I mean, I don't really have anybody else. Like nobody's staying with me in my hotel room. I'm like gonna be by myself. So instead of having friends to get ready with, I could get ready with you guys. So I'm not like completely alone, but we'll see. I just don't wanna, like I really wanna enjoy the trip and I don't wanna pressure myself. So if I'm feeling lonely, then I'll probably go live and hang out with you guys. But if I'm like trying to hurry or something, then I probably will just do it real quick off camera. Sorry, this takes forever for me to peel off the old glue. My throat's starting to hurt from talking so much. I should have known better. Should have known better. Best purple to put all over medium brown hair. I don't really know that there's a best purple. I would just say make sure the purple is dark. Like get a very dark purple. I love Pravana, Pravana Violet, even though it's professional. Just get a uh, purple that's deep. I'm trying to think, I'm not really familiar with a lot of purples. I don't use purple very often unless it's normally in um, my rainbow hair that I do. Oh, hi Isabel. I've never left Chile. 
I didn't leave. I had never left the United States um, until last November when I went to the Bahamas in November. That was my first time ever leaving the United States. I honestly never thought I would. Not because I couldn't, just because I just never really had the desire to leave the United States. But the older I get, the more of that desire I have. Like I would be interested in seeing other countries and other lifestyles. The United States is just so big and there's so such like diversity and like uh, terrain here. I'm like, I can pretty much see a lot of the things in other countries here by just traveling across the United States. But as I get older, it's not really about the terrain. It's more about like the cultures and experiencing other people's, you know, way of living or just diversity. You know what I mean? Just seeing other cultures and like how that has shaped where they live instead of the United States is pretty similar. You know what I mean? It's not that different. Okay. Like I probably should not have come live. I lived in Spain and France. It was amazing. I can imagine. My brother's been to Spain before. I've only ever been to the Bahamas. I've never even been to Canada. So I'm very like, you can call me uncultured swine. <laughs> I really don't know a lot about anything. Obviously. I didn't even know who that one girl was. I don't even know who Dorothy was. Most people don't leave the resorts. Yeah, um, uh, we're renting. Am I having a stroke? Oh my God, we're renting golf carts. Um, no, I'm not Megan, but we're renting golf carts this time in the Bahamas. So we're gonna drive around the island, all over the island. So I'm excited about that. It's a different island than last time, so. It's small and it's easy to get around, whereas the last island was too big to do that. And also it was a little bit too dangerous. They don't advise tourists to go <laughs> wandering the island. But honestly, every single local I met when I was in the Bahamas was insanely nice. Like, I mean, just like overly nice. Like just the sweetest people ever. Every single one of them was super, super nice. I like to do a little black liner line before I put my lashes on because I just think it helps blend them in a little bit. I've yet to have the opportunity to leave Canada, but I live in the beautiful Thompson Okanagan, so I don't need to go anywhere to see beauty. Yeah. Being from the Midwest, living out in the boonies, I'm itching to travel. Honestly, I, I like never traveled a lot during my life, but I agree with you. Like the older I get, the more I'm interested in it, but I've been, fucking dude, I've traveled so much the past two months. I went to, I went to North Carolina to babysit Oakley while Logan was taking the bar. I just went to Savannah and now I'm going to the Bahamas all within like two months and it's too much. It's way too much. Like traveling once or twice a year is good for me because what I've been doing, it's a little too much. It's not fun when you do it that much, you know? Like you need, I like being home. I'm very much a home buddy. So I don't like traveling a bunch. I honeymoon in eczema in the Bahamas. It was the best travel experience of my life. Same. When I was in Nassau in, or in November, literally magic. It was like so freaking magical. And I've heard a lot of people talk negatively about the Bahamas, but I literally had the best experience ever. How did the test go for him or doesn't? Yeah, he just found out, Missy. On this live, he found out he passed the bar. He is officially a lawyer. If you ever come to Sweden, I would be happy to show you around. Aw, I would love that. I would love that. I'm definitely going to have to hook up with uh, somebody from different countries that I visit because... Obviously, I don't speak different languages, so definitely would need somebody to help show me around. Okay. My throat. Been a subscriber for a while, but first time in chat. Oh, hi, Michael. Oh, that's okay, um, Katie. I'll leave it up so you can watch it later. That mascara tube makes such a fun sound. Nostalgia for sure. I know, I love that sound. All right, let's put on some latches. Put on some latches. 
Lashes make the world go round, baby. My long dark hair is about to be blasted with color remover because of your videos. Hello from Massachusetts. I would love to go to Massachusetts. That's one place in the United States I wanna go. I wanna go out east very badly. I wanna go up the east coast. I wanna to go to Connecticut, Massachusetts, up to Maryland. I would love to do that. I've been to New York a few times, New York City. Been to New Jersey, but I haven't been like super east along the coast or anything. I'd love to go to Massachusetts. It's expensive but lovely. I work in Boston and live in the suburbs and awkwardly say hi if I see you. Aw, well I appreciate that. I'd much rather you guys say hi than not. I did not get engaged in New York City, Logan. I got engaged in my bedroom at dad's house. But we did take pictures in New York City. We took engagement pictures in New York when we were there. So that's probably why you think that. Because our save the date had a picture of um, like Aaron, we used that picture from New York on our save the date photos. My eyes are already bloodshot. You didn't know that? Yeah. I found out Aaron bought the ring and then I made him give it to me. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, he was gonna give it to me regardless. Obviously he bought it, but I found out he had it in the house with us and I was like, I want it now. So of course, like a nice dude, he gave it to me. These lashes are uncomfortable today. You are so responsible making prep slash, prep job slash videos for us. Oh, thank you. I definitely take it pretty seriously. I don't, I think it's the Virgo-ness in me. Like I can't miss uploads unless I'm sick or like there's something going on mentally for me. That's pretty much the only time I've missed an upload. I've never taken a vacation and missed uploads, ever. I've always worked before I left a bunch and then worked as soon as I got back a bunch to make sure to make up for the time that I'm gone. So I try and make sure not to leave you guys hanging. Highly recommend vacationing in Cape Cod. Do you plan on staying blonde for a while? No, I'm dyeing my hair tomorrow. I'm doing neon. Neon UV rainbow hair tomorrow. <clears throat> and I'm using a different brand. I'm using a new brand that I've never used before. How did you get into YouTube? I am a newer fan. Um, so I was dyeing my hair a bunch at home. And a lot of the time I would look up YouTube videos about products I was about to use to dye my hair with. And I was like, dude, I'm dyeing my hair at home and getting a lot of information from all of these other people who I'm learning from. Why don't I just do that? And I have my cosmetology license. So like, I know a lot about hair. I went to school, I'm licensed. I worked in a salon for years. So like, not only could I help people learn, but like, I actually do know a little bit of what I'm talking about. So I figured, why not? Quit my job. I put all my equipment on a credit card and I just hoped it would pay off one day. I'm like, literally, Aaron supported me. Aaron was the only person working. We couldn't afford shit. We were so broke, but he let me do what I needed to do because he believed in me. And I was doing YouTube for like about a year, I would say, almost a year. And then my first video blew up. And then it's been just smooth sailing ever since then. It's just been like consistency and smooth sailing ever since then. And I was able to pay off all my equipment and I still have the same equipment that I originally purchased that long ago. <laughs> Currently in the process of getting a, a leg sleeve done and I'm so afraid of the knee. How is your back piece coming along? It's coming along good. I actually, um, Oh man, I, I had appointments like every month this year. So um, I was gonna get my back piece done this year, just do like four hours at a time on my back to get it finished this year. But I canceled all of my appointments because I need to save money to buy a house. 
because things were getting like pretty bad here um as far as people trying to break in and just like harassment and like i've just been having a lot of issues where i live so um that took priority i was like i need to get out of here i need to get out of here as soon as possible so i canceled all of my tattoo appointments for the rest of the year i have one tattoo appointment this month to finish the outline and then i'm not getting tattooed probably till next year or the year after that to be honest because it's just expensive it's really expensive and the houses right now are out the ass insane i hear i hear you houses are so expensive these days yeah literally Aaron and I bought our first home together for $52,000, okay? $52,000. That's like nothing, okay? That's nothing. Now, that's like that same house with the same square footage and everything is well over $100,000. It's double what it was back in 2019. So I'm having a very hard time coming to terms with the fact that I'm gonna have to double what I was paying just a few years ago for a mortgage like i just can't even fathom paying double for a house that i only paid half of like half for that's i just it makes me sick to my stomach to think about that so uh yeah that's what i'm focusing on right now i already had this bahamas trip planned and paid for so i'm still able to go but my priority right now is saving money um yeah because i think I don't know. I think just because like maybe the culture of like social media, people think that YouTubers make a shit ton of money. My husband and I's in income combined, we make less than $100,000 a year combined. That It's hard to live on less than $100,000 a year no matter where you live in the United States. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if people think um, like YouTubers got money like that, but no, bitch. I got to work for my money just like everybody else <laughs> out here. So, yeah. All right, let's do lipstick. Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude, out east. Out east and out west. Like, I'm lucky I live in the Midwest because it's cheaper here than it is where you guys live. Like, um, east coast, insane. West coast, actually freaking crazy. Criminal. And it's not even like... The housing prices are actually freaking insane, but then the interest rates on the houses make your mortgage like $200 more a month. So like not only are you paying more for the house, but you're also paying more for the interest. So unless you're buying the house, gonna make a lot of payments on it, like pay more than what you're supposed to and then refinance in a couple years, you're gonna be stuck with like crazy stuff. And it really irritates me because it's like, I'm just trying to survive. Everybody's just trying to survive out here, okay? <laughs> We're all just trying to survive and i have one vehicle we need two vehicles and we have one vehicle and it has 200,000 miles on it <laughs> and i can't afford to get another one right now so we're trying to get a house then get a car and like trying to you know survive luna okay well come here Lynn. come here honey i'm gonna tell on you in the process of buying because we rent a townhouse and it's as much as a mortgage yeah literally it's terrible no matter where you go nowadays but i've heard they will be taking this issue to congress hoping they can fix hoping they can be adults for five seconds and fix the issues yeah i'm not counting on that at all i am definitely not counting on that <laughs> they they ain't helping us with nothing baby they're saying good luck to you good luck to you i'm gonna do black and green Luna. She's crying. She has these little worms, these little worm toys, and she loves them. And she just picks them up and cries and cries and cries. What eyeliner do you use? Please, please. I don't think you said I need one bad. Oh, yeah. I use um, Crybaby. This is Crybaby eyeliner. It's from Spoiled. Um, and it's waterproof as it is so waterproof. I have literally bawled my eyes out. I've literally worn it to like the pool and stuff. It, you're good to go. You can ball your eyes out in that. It's linked in the description of this video. I put the spoiled link. So if you click on that link and just um, search Crybaby, the eyeliner will pop up for you. 
And if you use coupon code AZLIN, you will save 15% on that eyeliner. Okay. I gotta finish what I'm doing here. I... I'm gonna have to go get a Ricola. What is going on with this? Hmm. I thought I could use Crybaby as a tightening liner. Nope. Oh, in your inner waterline? Definitely don't use it in your inner waterline. You can use it under, but not as a tight line. Yeah, because it's liquid. So if you use liquid in your tight line, it'll just get all over your eyeballs and it would not be a fun time. You need like a crayon type thing to tight line. grandparents could save up for a whole new house in four years while raising kids it feels so unfair I know I, I literally I cannot even imagine having children like Aaron and I don't have kids I, I I literally I tell him this all the time I do not know how people with kids survive let alone single parents with kids or even single people in general like it is literally almost impossible for somebody single to survive. I, I really don't know how people do it. Do you have a least favorite part of the makeup process? Oh yeah, 100% my eyebrows. Fucking hate my eyebrows so much. Hate doing them, so annoying. Would love to never do them again and have like full nice eyebrows, but mine are so thin. Yeah, my husband and I had one and done. Yeah, I mean, it's like, Oh, yeah. I'm sweating, you guys. I'm having a hard time. Hi from UK. Love watching you. Oh, hi, Tina. My boyfriend works for NAS. NASA and he makes amazing money and we still struggle. Exactly. Like even people who are well paid are still struggling because prices are so high. Oh, hi. Yeah. Yeah, I feel bad for like, I'm just very grateful that I live in a state that's affordable. Oh, somebody just placed an order for spoiled. Thank you guys. Whoever that was, let me know what you got. Let me know. We're gonna do green. I love you too, Logan. And also, why are you crying? Sort of a deep question, but how do you deal with not feeling like enough? I'm really dealing with so much and I just never feel like enough. Honestly, I don't have a good answer for you. I wish I did, but I don't. I, I That's one thing I actually don't really struggle with that feeling of like not feeling like you're enough. I don't think I've ever honestly felt that. Um, I've always just had the mindset of like, I am who I am. If you don't like it, like that's not my problem. I've never felt like I needed to live up to somebody's expectations or felt like, oh, I'm not good enough for this person or I'm not good enough for this. I've always just been like, you know, like this is who I am. This is what I am. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry. That's not my problem. That's your problem. That's an issue within you. But if anybody else has any tips for them, like if you ever struggle with feeling like you're not enough, let them know because I personally have never really had that. I've always just kind of had like a fuck you attitude about it. Like if you don't like it, that's your problem, not mine. So maybe somebody else in the comments could help you or somebody else who's watching it later could reply to your comment and let you know. Cause I know a lot of people do struggle with that. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people, I just feel like I've always been different. I've just always been on the outskirts of like society and like what the normal things are. So like, I've always just known I'm not good enough for everybody. Like <laughs> I've always just grew up knowing I'm not good enough. So it's like, I know that I'm good enough, but nobody's ever gonna view me as enough. So I have never really cared about that, but I'm sure a lot of people do struggle with that. I've heard a lot of people struggle with it. 
I wore yellow eyeshadow yesterday with brown edges. Got a compliment. Thanks for being my color inspiration. Oh, yay. Work on service for others and that will make you feel better. That's true. Definitely. Helping others definitely makes you feel better. Hi, Kimberly. Hey, has Tara been on today? Kimberly, has she been on today? Oh, we just got another order. Thank you, guys. You guys are so sweet. Seriously. Y'all are the best. If you order, let me know what you got. I'd love to know. Low-key, the only person that can rock green lips. Oh, thank you. I'm not done yet. I got to make them a little bit better. I'm just trying not to. I don't even know if I have that anymore. I think I got rid of it. Did I get rid of it? Wow, look at me. Good for me, bro. I did get rid of it. Good for me. We need more people like you in office who know the struggle of living day to day. Not saying you should run if you don't want to. People like you need to step up more. Oh, yeah, it ain't gonna be me who's gonna change it. I used to be real strong into like feeling like I need to change the world and like I need to put my voice out there and people need to know what's right and what's wrong. And like, pfft. dude, that was me in 2020. This is me in 2024. And I'm telling you right now, I'm defeated. You bitch is defeated. I feel like no matter what I say, no matter what I do, my voice doesn't matter. People are going to do what they want to do. Like I have, I just feel like I have no, what I say has no impact on anything. So it's just like, I just quit. I'm like, I give up. Like <laughs> I just give up and just vote. <laughs> that's all I do. I feel like that's all I can do. I just ordered, was only on planning on getting the eyeliner, but then got convinced by the makeup remover in two palettes. Aw, they have a lot of sales right now on makeup palettes. Did you get this? Did you get this? Because this, if you get the eyeliner, you gotta get this. Literally, I've used so much of this. Can you guys see? I've used so much of this, it smells so good. I purchased your makeup palette and makeup bag and my six-year-old wants them both. Guess I'll buy them again. Aw, my palette's on sale right now. My makeup bag is gone, it's sold out. So my makeup, makeup bag you can't purchase anymore because it's gone, but my palette's still there. Although it is getting low in stock. Hair question, I had red pink hair, now it's faded to like an ashy blonde hair, but somehow green. Red and pink, it's faded to an ash blonde, but it has green. Okay, what's your question? Yes, I've seen you recommend it before, so I had to buy the remover. My usual is Clinique and I'm running out anyway. Oh, you're gonna love this. It's way more affordable than Clinique. I used to use Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. This is very similar to that, very comparable, but way more affordable, and you're supporting a small woman-owned business, so. Um, fixing the green parts, you could do, uh, so I have a video, basically color correcting is your best method if you are wanting to keep the integrity of your hair. Obviously you could do like a bleach bath or something, but that's going to damage your hair. So if you have fragile hair, you can color correct. So on the parts that are green, try mixing up like a pinky, like a pinky reddish color, but pastel. So then you can counteract those tones, but you need to make sure the levels are similar. So if you have like a super, super dark green you're going to want to mix up a dark red if you have like very light green spots then you're going to want to mix up a lighter pinky color to cancel out that and i would do a test strand first like definitely do a test strand to make sure that you made it pastel enough and you're not going to dye your hair green or dye your hair pink but if you do want pink hair you could always just dye your hair pastel pink and then as it fades it'll go back to blonde instead of going back to green i hope that helps i hope that helps all right, let's fix these lips because I got to get off here and get working. Luna. Honey, I do hear you, baby. Luna and... Luna! This girl, she's about to drive me nuts. Off topic, but can you recommend best toning method for 613 tape-ins? I would do, um, like, fill your sink up with hot water and then put purple shampoo in there and then wet your wet your um, extensions and then wash them and then dip them into the purple shampoo. Just dip, pull out, dip, pull out, and then you'll see them tone. How Baby's Girls Med's working. They're working amazing. She's doing great. She's super freaking annoying and I love her so much. Super annoying and I love her so much. <laughs> I wonder, have you guys been able to hear her? She's, Luna? Yeah, I about had enough of you. I'm gonna come over there and grab you. I'll come get your ass. 
she keeps crying. She's been crying almost this whole entire live, you guys. I'm wondering if you guys have heard her. Oh my God. Luna, come here. I'll go get her and show her to you guys because she's annoying. Super annoying. But I love her and I'd much rather her be annoying the shit out of me than on her deathbed. I know that's right. Yeah, that's good enough. Win! I feel like every time I film, you want to see her? All right, I'll go grab her. Every time I film, she acts up. Every time. Luna Boone exposed. I know that's right. All right, let me put this away. Let me think. All right, I'm gonna go grab her and show you guys, and then I'm gonna head off. I gotta, I gotta get it together. I have two videos to film. What is it like four, four o'clock? All right. And also, where Kimberly? Where's Tara? Has she gone live today? Because what the hell is that about? Let me see. One hour ago. What a shit show. Oh fuck. I gotta catch up on that. What happened? Kimberly, if you're here, give me the rundown on what Tara said earlier on her live. Were they able to get the passports? Just let me know. Hi, Luna. Well, what the fuck are you doing? Are you having fun coming today? All right, Kimberly. All right, come here. Well, here's the deal, Missy. First of all, you've been crying for the past half hour. Second of all, people wanna see you. People have been asking about you. Asking, are you okay? Are you good? <laughs> You're okay, baby. There you go, okay. Can I see you? Can I see your face? Let me see. You got a little eye gooby, but that's okay. Okay, come here. There she is. Okay, all right, all right, all right, you can go. Hold on, okay. We're gonna put you down gently, ready? Okay, okay, wow. She's really not in the mood. She's like, put me the fuck down, mom. What are you doing? Are you gonna be good while I film or are you gonna cry the whole time like you usually do? Because every time she cries, I have to stop filming. Huh? Are you gonna behave? Yeah, I didn't think you would. I'm, I'm gonna expose you. Look at this, Luna. Lynn. Lynn. Yeah, look, look at this face. She is up to no good, you guys. Up to absolutely no good. All right, set my face and off I go. I gotta get this stuff done. Are you done? She just had the zoomies. Let's not whack myself in the face because I like hit my nose almost every time I do this. I always wind up like in my face. We cannot be mad at her. I know. It's literally impossible. She's so annoying. You guys have no idea. She's so annoying. I love her so much. And I'd rather her annoy the shit out of me every single day with her worms. <laughs> but her crying, it's like she'll stop crying and you still think you're hearing the crying. Because <laughs> she's like, and she always wants things when she wants it. She's got what we called tortitude. She's a tortoiseshell cat and she's got that tortitude energy for sure. She got that tortitude energy. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, I'm going to head off here. Did Kimberly ever respond? Let me see. Oh, uh, I did pet sit at my brother's house. Yes. Did Kimberly ever respond? They have to go back to Seattle tomorrow to get Kaylee and Harper's passports. No, Kimberly, are you freaking kidding me? Bro. I figured when she didn't come live yesterday that something had happened. I was like, oh, something good didn't, like something didn't, like didn't go right or something happened because she, if she got the passports, she would have been like on live so excited about it. I knew something was up, bro. I could have texted her, but I, I didn't want to bother her because, you know, she's already going through it, but they have to go back tomorrow. Yeah, it's a mess. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to watch it. I have to film and stuff, so I won't be able to watch it for literally hours. I won't be able to catch up, but damn. I can't, I like, I can't wait to hear what happened, what went wrong. Damn, dude, that sucks. We leave in like a few days and she gotta get her passport still. Bro, bro, I would be so stressed. I cannot even imagine how stressed she is right now. Poor thing. All right, you guys, I'm gonna head off here. I will see you guys in Friday's video. I love you guys so much and I will probably go live in the Bahamas at some point. So if you don't have notifications turned on, turn on your notifications. Um, because if you turn on your notifications and follow my Instagram, you guys will see my neon rainbow hair before anybody else. So, um, yeah. And my palette's on sale, $22.10 in the description down below. Um, I also, I love the eyeliner. I love the Feed Your Face Serum. I love their moisturizer. They have a really good face primer that just launched. It's amazing. It's a dewy face primer. I love their foundation. I love their makeup remover that I showed you guys. So if you're on there and you're going to get my palette, might as well shop around, y'all. And use code AZLIN and you will save 15%. So I will see you guys on Friday. I love you. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'm glad we hung out and talked. And here's the finished makeup look. Okay. Using only my palette. Look at that highlighter. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye.